We'll delve the deepest, darkest tomb. We are the brave companions. We'll brave the ancient forest gloom. We are the brave companions. We'll slay the lich. In the last episode, Maricel had found an iron key in the goblin's bedding and had used it to unlock the treasure chest, um, finding a vial of some orange substance and some gold uh, and a masterwork dagger and a ruby. So that was all added to the party's treasury. And now it's right time for the next episode. So Valeros the fighter has walked up to the door and has swung it open, revealing another room. The stone doors swing open, revealing a room bathed in a shimmering golden radiance, like sunlight reflecting off the ocean. The light emanates from a rune-covered fountain in the center of the room. Faint talking noises can be heard. The fountain is made of stone. Uh, there's a series of tiny runes carved around the fountain's lip, and a golden light shines from the fountain, but the glow has no visible source. Um, it looks a little bit like this. There's two exits from the room. There's a passageway down here that heads off into uh, places unknown. Let's see, is that better? There's a passageway down here, and there's a set of stone doors, closed stone doors, up here to the north. So let me know what you want to do. Put it in the comments of this video. We'll go from there. The adventurer's work is never done. We are the brave companions. As long as there are errands to run. We are the brave companions. Battle's done, we'll raise a cup. We are the brave companions.